Welcome everyone, I'm Kimberly Boschman and this is the Intentionally Intuitive Podcast. In this episode, we're going to take a look at each Life Path Numbers forecast for December 2023. So we are inching quite quickly towards the new year of 2024. And so I do have those forecasts up on my YouTube channel and my podcast for each Life Path Number. If you haven't checked yours out, be sure to do so. This is also a great time to take a look at your own personal numerology in a year ahead forecast or your diamond report. If you'd like to take a look at that or dive a little bit deeper, then book some time with me. My information is in the description box below. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. Life Path 22.4. So you all are working with the energy of the five this month, as well as raccoon energy. So there is definitely something that is asking you to throw caution to the wind this month and go for it, whatever it may be, without overthinking, without trying to impose too many rules or sanctions on whatever this is, but just sort of being a free spirit this month and see where the wind takes you, which can be incredibly difficult for fours at times. So there's definitely something here that's saying, let your hair down, go with the flow, surrender, um, definitely tap into that free spirit energy and try to relax a little bit and, and release control and allow life to present you with new opportunities and new things to experience and then fully immerse yourself within that experience because you might be surprised at what comes through from that. You might find a new hobby. You might find a new relationship. You might find some kind of new connection that really enhances your life in a big way. And you might unlock a side of yourself that has been just raring to be released, right? So there's something about not being too um, discriminatory when it comes to what you say yes to and what you say no to. Um, especially what you say, say yes to, because a lot of times it's easier for fours or 22 fours to say no to something that sort of, um, forces them to change their routine or disrupts their sort of, you know, set organization. Uh, so, and this month might do a lot of that. So I would say definitely be open to taking more risks this month to being adaptable, to being more playful, to, um, you know, putting like pleasure in front of obligation and work this month. I'm not saying, you know, just totally disregard your obligations, right? Like not telling you to do that. I'm just saying definitely make enough time to do the fun things in life as well to, um, you know, take a day off just to do what inspires you and what lifts you up and makes you happy. Um, because the five is such big, like free spirited energy, as well as about change and disruption, right? It's, it wants to transform something. It wants to shake up the mundane, shake up the routine, because it's through that, that we have growth, that we have expansion, that we can find new ways of doing something. So you could find that uh, that comes in in your relationships, in your career, in your belief systems, where there needs to be some kind of a shakeup. And then with raccoon energy, it's just sort of this very curious, playful, like, you know, just wants to like experience life with its senses, right? It's just, it's just, and it's not too picky. It wants to just, um, I don't know, have fun and be curious and explore. And so there is definitely this strong element of that for you all this month. Travel would be very much supported. So if you have an opportunity to travel this month, go for it. You know, it might open you up to new ideas, fr uh, fresh perspectives, different cultures, uh, different ways of doing things that actually feel very aligned for you. Um, also like collaboration always kind of comes in for 22 fours, but collaboration is also one, but one where it's like, where you're surrounding yourself with people who inspire you, who ignite that like childlike innocence within you and the imagination and that sort of desire to explore. Um, this is really going to be a month. I think that is going to try to push you out outside of routine and outside of the systems and structures that maybe make you feel more safe 
to just kind of go with the flow, be more spontaneous and um, yeah, just be open to what life presents you and be open to exploring it because you have the potential to um, take a lot of this with you forward into the coming year that could also help you in your relationships, in your own greater self-discovery and in career as well. So definitely a lot coming in around, hey, let's have fun. Let's enjoy this month. And, you know, the responsibilities will always be there and we can come back to them and we don't have to neglect them, but we certainly don't have to make them our be all end all. So this month, I would say the key word for you all is, you know, fun, be free, have fun, explore, experience life and see what it has to show you. So it doesn't always have to be so serious. So I hope it's a great one. Take care, 22 fours. Bye for now.